Hi Leo, how are you? I first off wanted to start out by saying that I all day was going to channel and had intentions to and then I got in my salt bath and I was like, like my gut kept telling me, hey, like no, you need to rest, you need to rest. So last night I did my tarot for myself and I was doing deck, um, deck interviews too and a card came out and it was like, literally it was like, release cleanse like I don't even remember what it said now at this point but it was like literally telling me like stop what I'm doing and I was like oh, fine so I did and I feel so much better today because I was definitely like mercury retrograde was getting me I don't know about you guys um but communication I feel pretty good but like definitely my communication's been a little bit off so bear with me but I know I'm sure you guys get it um, so let's go ahead and draw a path card. That's the first thing I want to do for you guys. So I actually just, like I said, did interview for decks yesterday. I just interviewed this deck last night, so I don't know it. All I can know is what I channel. Um, but I think for these, just because they are um, soul path vibration, photos of actual like vibration, um, I hope I'm saying that right. But uh, it's, I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful imagery, okay? And I'll, I'll sit here and I'll channel, but I want you to know I'm going to read the book. Why the heck not? We have resources. We should take advantage of it, right? Okay, guys. For the Leo Collective, can you give me a life path? Oh my gosh, I feel like that's everyone's question right now is like, what's my mission? What's my purpose? What's my light path? So I don't know. It feels good to, it feels good to, it's probably just going to confirm what you guys already know about yourselves. Oh, wow. 29 breaking down into 11. Oh, these are crazy. Take a look. Breathe it in. And before I read, I want you guys to decide what it means for you. Pinks and orange. Oh, it looks like bubblegum. <laughs> it's like the least intuitive thing I could ever say. Like, it looks like bubblegum. Oh, but look at how beautiful friendship. Oh, okay. There is a great amount of love and support available to you. Friendship represented by the infinity symbol is forever. Trust the bonds that you have created with others. Know that the greatest gift you can give is your, your give yourself is friendship. It is in giving that where we receive the most. Offer your support where you can and remember to ask for support when you need it. Your friends are the very souls that you have chosen on this journey in this lifetime. They are an important part of your growth and learning. Yeah, I want to touch on that. Yes, friends can be karmic. They can be a lesson for us. They could have been a soul that we made an agreement with. But I want you to know, like, hopefully at this point, especially if you are awakening or waking up, hopefully at this point you've kind of released, like, your karma. If, if, if It's okay if you haven't. Like, right now for Mercury Retrograde, a lot of karma is resurfacing. A lot of past issues, past relationships, past people, they're resurfacing so that you can clear that out. Okay, making room for beautiful soul path friendships, friendships are that are for your highest good, your collective, maybe other light workers, whoever you may identify as, um, whoever is going to be around you is is going to support you. Um, but I want you to know, like this is probably the time where you have kind of picked where you put your energy, right, Leo? So I want you to remember, like not everyone. This is just another message message in itself. Not everyone deserves your guys's sunlight okay so if you are giving your energy to someone are you are you getting what you're giving in return hopefully at this point you have cleared out all those issues um if not like that's something to just address and realize and really draw attention to because if they're not serving you at this point and you're in your process it's time to release them and make room and they want you to know like you will have beautiful support and beautiful friendships look at that these people that are coming in or have came in are for your soul purpose and your soul life, okay? So remember that. Remember that. Oh, that's beautiful, Leo. Okay, Leo, I'm trying to decide. Yep. <laughs> It'd be like that. Okay, Leo, let's get some um, oracle cards for you and see if we want to go more onto this journey of friendship or if 
if Spirit has any other messages for you. But yeah, I mean, it's all about balance. And I'm seeing like Six of Pentacles, like your energy. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Are you giving? No, no, no. I see Six of Pentacles for you guys, especially with this coming out. Um, giving to something and getting and receiving flow. Yeah, the flow of the infinite. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, Leo. Messages for Leo. Oh, they want both. Okay, I'll take them. I'm going to do the one that fell down first, okay? Which I think was this one. Nah. Oh, wow. Chaos and conflict, 33. Master number also breaking down into a six. Um, guys, what I'm really picking up from this is you feeling conf conflicted in your environment or inside. Um, this, this animal, he's like giraffe print, but he has a zebra. Oh, you could be conf and having inner conflictions also, not just your environment around you, but inside with like who you really are and starting to like almost show your true colors, right? Because I think your, your expectations of who you thought you were are, are starting to kind of crumble. Like this is crumbling. Um, it could feel like a lot of inner conflict inside of you. Um, a lot of well, this could also be like, is this person for my highest good? You're conflicting because here on earth we make romantic connections, we make friendship connections that we we have feelings towards. There's attachment stuff involved with it. Um, so it's really time to go within and decide if this person is for your best interest. Now, I but like at the end of the day, this this is a zebra, but he has on, but he has like the giraffe print on him. I feel like you guys are trying to maybe, I'm not saying conform, I hate that, but like maybe you guys aren't showing the world your true colors yet because you're afraid of what people might think. And inside you're just conflicted. You're like, well, these are the ideals, these standards, these are things I've always had to live up to, okay? But it also could just mean surrounding you, there's chaos and um, conflict as well. But guys, if you're a, if you're a, if you're a zebra, <laughs> oh, I feel like the zebra part's the part that's crumbling and you're different. Oh, um, I like that. I like that almost better. Like, you're just, on the outside of you is not what's on the inside of you, right? And I think it's time for you to let your, your flag, your flag for fly and like, let people know who you truly are. And like, if they are these true soul connections, these true friendships, these true relationships, these true your tribe, your your fellow light workers, your fellow star seeds for who that pertains to, like they will accept you no matter what the heck you are underneath all that. Because at the end of the day, your true essence, your true vibration, 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 see Communi communication, vibration is the thing that draws, draws them in and makes them connect because you guys are vibrating at the same frequency. Yeah, don't be a, don't be afraid to show your true my camera died. Anyways, left everything as it is, and I ran, grabbed a new battery. But anyways, what I wanted to let you know, if they're meant to be on your vibrational path, whatever vibration you're at, what whoever is meant to be is going to stay. Okay, so don't be afraid to show who you really are, because whoever you really are is drawing in these beautiful relationships and friendships, okay? Oh, sir, sir, oh my gosh, serendipity. That's such a cute word, too. Serendipity. I want to read this one. Okay, but it's a nine. Yeah, guys, I want to read this one. Oh, I love that she is kind of just releasing. She's letting go. She's having fun, almost like the fool energy. I don't know. She seems like she whatever she's reaching for is in her hands, and she's enjoying it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Seren uh, serendipity. Opportunity aligned with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck, and good fortune. Yep, with the four-leaf clover appearing in signs, symbols, or a magical alignment of events. Yeah, so that what this is, is this is a message from Spirit telling you you are aligned. Whatever you are reaching for is yours. You have luck on your side. You have the wheel of fortune on your side. You have Spirit on your side. Whoever you're really meant to be or whoever you really, really, truly, and deeply are, it's lined, it's in the cards, it's, it's lined up for you. Um, 
prosperity, abundance, whatever it is that you desire, it is yours and it is yours to keep, okay? Um, like they said, this is a really good attention to synchronicities. Um, you may see it in the funniest places. It's almost like, <laughs> is it, yeah, it's almost like Page of Cups, like seeing synchronicities in weird places, messages and divine things in weird weird ways but keep your eye out for feathers that's messages from your angels uh, 11 11 333 look into what each of those mean but more than anything it's like your angels trying to draw attention to let you know that you're guided and on the right path okay so watch your synchronicities maybe like keep track of them too whatever whatever it is spirit is telling you that you are supported no matter what decisions you make and who you choose to be oh that's beautiful yeah, that makes me so happy. I'm so happy for you, Leo. Look at who you're going to be. She is letting go and spirit is coming in. Oh my gosh, I really wanted to take it, but I didn't ask yet. Messages for Leo. That's meant to be, though. It's meant to be, guys. One time, I'll tell you a minute. Messages for Leo. Yeah, they told me I need to focus. Oh, okay, I understand. Okay, first off, <laughs> this card looks shadowy, okay? It looks shadowy, it feels shadowy, and it, it's heavy on your heart. So I want you to know, like, don't take it too much. Um, feel it, and maybe understand why you're feeling orphaned and alone. Maybe it's because you're just different and you feel like you're not fitting into the standards, the the collective, whoever whoever sets standards for you, wherever you may be, maybe you feel like alone. Um, orphaned also, really good message for any star seeds out there. Um, don't worry, with friendship, your collective's coming in if you're feeling alone right now. But sometimes star, feet, star seeds are um, feeling really orphaned because they just don't belong here. They're doing work here, but like their heart, their soul, their frequency is just so different. It's calling to somewhere else. And it can be a really, really lonely experience. Oh, it's heavy, I know. But if you're feeling orphaned, spirit wants you to know like you are not alone ever. Your guides are there. You can always call on them. They're showing you the signs. They're showing you the messages. They're here for you. But they want you to know until you come into your true colors and release all that does not serve, those people, those ideas, the belief systems, whatever it may be, these soul connections are coming in. Like I said, whether it be your collective for you specifically, they're coming in. It might feel like a time of loneliness right now, but Spirit wants you to know like you're not alone. They're giving you the sign, the synchronicities, everything you need. And luck is on your side. So whatever it is that you desire and that you're going for, you're going to have it. You guys are lucky. So stop worrying about what people think or how people are going to perceive this new you when it's really the true essence of yourself and who you really are. Step into who you really are. Okay? Orphaned. I know, like, right now it might feel like you're alone or maybe this was a state you're in and you're starting to come out of it and you're realizing who the real friendship and who the real connections are. But remember, like, a couple good, solid, giving, taking, flowing friends are better than, you know, having hundreds and thousands of whatever, you know? Um, whoever's in your life right now, like, don't feel alone because you do have people but more than anything you have spirit okay so if this is the energy you're in right now i'm so sorry leo but i promise it's going to get better shed that skin become the light that you truly are step into your power oh my gosh yes okay so let's go ahead and do another one this is the sacred rebels deck i might read from this one too you guys are just going to get so many cuts. Um, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to stop my timer because I already had to stop my timer because um, because my battery died. <laughs> so you guys are good. I will not. I will not leave with you. I don't know why I had to say it like that. Don't you kind of like how medieval tarot cards look though? Like I love traditional tarot cards. But like I have to tell you guys when I saw the beauty of these oracle cards. You get lost in them. 
Now, like I said, um, like I will always say is like I might read, I might not. If I'm drawn to it, I'm going to, okay? Okay. Messages for our Leos. Messages for Leos. Messages for the These cards are new, so they like to just slide and not jump yet. Oh, as I speak too soon, that one wanted to come. Ooh, that's beautiful. Also, you have one just sitting down here. And I'm going to take it. Okay. Okay, Leo. Visions of life beyond death, past lives, experiences, your wisdom, your divine, step into your true beauty and your true power. There's a peacock on top of her head, uh, owl for wisdom, peacock for beauty, divinity. You guys are divine. Once you shed this skin, whatever skin you feel like you have to be in, you don't have to be in that skin because you're drawing in the right collective and the right people, but they want you to know you have gifts, you have the answers, you have whatever it is that people, people work so hard to have, and you guys are just naturally wise and naturally just, I hate to say, I want to say old, but I want to say like not even old, but like your soul is old. Like, you've lived many, 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 many lives. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, she, the, she almost looks very like, she looks like an empress in a sense too. She is, I, and I see like the crow up there. I feel like it's like shadow, perfect balance of understanding shadow and, and light as well as just like she's so intuitive and she's beautiful in her divine divinity. Like she is attracting, oh yeah, that, okay. I'll get to my next one. But yeah, she she is wise beyond her years. This is your soul and in essence it's beautiful. It stands out. It understands the depths and the shadows, but more than anything, guys, you, you are wise and you have whatever answer, so shed that skin. Get out of any conflict. Oh, because whoever you are, whoever this is for, this is beautiful. Oh, visions of life beyond death. You know that there's more lives. You may be interested in past lives. That might be something to look into as well. Akashic, Akashic Library. That's another note. Look into past lives too. Yeah. Power of attraction. Oh wow. First off, the duality in that. It looks like masculine and feminine as well as a perfect balance of masculine and feminine. Um, you could be having a twin flame, a soulmate counterpart. Also, I want you to know like this could just pertain to like soulmates within your tribe and your collective. Like you're just attracting like-minded people. Yeah, your vibration after you shed the skin because of who you are is attracting like-minded folk, okay? People who are more like you. Um, also, just remember the law of attraction. We attract in our solar plexus, which is our masculine, maybe practicing um, looking more into if you want something, go ahead and like, go ahead and say it's yours. It's yours to take, okay? Um, that's how the law of attraction works. Now that coming out with the serendipi serendipity, you know, I cannot say that guys, um, with the synchronicities and everything, it's just really calling your attention to the divine and like maybe yourself, maybe like s people are coming up, things are coming up to the surface right now for you to clear out so that you can get to this energy so that you can attract the like-minded people, the like-minded people who vibrate like you do because you are different and you are you're supposed to be different and you've been feeling really really orphaned but look what you're about to attract look look like what energy you're coming into that's like worth it to be orphaned for a little bit and alone and feel lonely and lose out on things but you know loss is something that we experience here on planet earth i don't know but i don't believe it's on many other planes. 
So maybe it's time to shift out of this orphaned feeling alone feeling. I understand why you do. But it's time to shift out and just vibrate at your full potential because, gosh, you can attract like-minded people. You can attract whatever you want. You are so divine. You are so powerful. There's dragonflies and bee symbolism in that. Another, another like, serendipity, like, synchronization, if you see those. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Message for Leo. Message for Leo. Ooh, I can't take three, but they want me to take the bottle. Oh, no, 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 no. They don't. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this doesn't surprise me. This is coming out for you. Orphaned. Okay. Feeling alone. Feeling like you're not of this world. Feeling like maybe you, you've lost your support because of you shedding the skin. Look at who you are. You are a legacy of light. You have a gift. You are wise. You can attract whatever you want. You are Whatever you're shedding is turning you into this right here. Oh my gosh, I always, with this card, I see an inner child, I see you in your essence, and I see your wise, divine wisdom. There she is right there, confirmation that you guys are wise beyond your years. Look at that essence and that power. Legacy of light. You know, this could, you could have been born in here to heal up some karmic family blood stuff, but it feels so much deeper than that. Like, it feels like whoever, whatever, you, wherever you came from, you are a legacy, you are divine, you are a goddess, whoever that speaks to. You are a legacy on your home planet. I hate to go straight into star seeds, but like, even like light workers, like, Whoever you are, you're an earth angel, you have a beautiful gift, you are a legacy, and you are creating a legacy here on earth when you raise the vibration. But for those of you who have been feeling very, very alone, know the reason why was to get you to this state. Because whoever's coming in and whoever's meant to be will be. Attract those people by shedding that skin. Oh my gosh, Leo. Oh wow, you are a legacy of light. What else could you possibly want to hear? Watch those synchronicities, guys. Know that release any people or anything that does not serve you at this time. I'm sorry you've been feeling alone, but it's all to shape you, to break you, to push you into this beautiful, aligned with people of the light, your collective, as well as knowing who you are in your power. Oh my gosh, Leo. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good rest of your day.